How's it guys? My name is Johan from VP Rocket Development and in this short tutorial we're gonna look at a common bug I often find with working with Elementor text editor widget. So what the symptoms of this problem is when you go to the styling tab on the Elementor text widget you're unable to do any styling here. Um, you're not able to change color so this is kind of annoying. So typically this is caused by a plugin conflict or a theme CSS styling that's overwriting the Elementor text widget. Uh, so one solution which is not really a good solution is if you go directly to the, the classic text editor and from here you can actually change um, let's say the size but the problem is if you want to do line height and all this um, now it becomes a bit tricky especially if you're not used to doing coding because you will need to go to the text tab and now start adding styling directly here so this is more for advanced users so uh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at some easy to follow steps for the non tax savvy to quickly solve this problem okay so I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna add a new text editor Let's give it some margin at the top so it's not all crammed up and then we're going to quickly look at the solution. So firstly, you will, you will have one of two scenarios. Uh, the one, first scenario would be you have Elementor Pro and the other one, um, one is that you only want to do styling for a particular page. And I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So to solve this problem, you can simply add this code that I will provide in the description. Go to Advanced. Go down to the bottom and add your CSS styling code here and that should solve the problem. So let's quickly play some styling here and now it is working and we're also able to change the color. All right, so the reason why you want to do it within this CSS tab of uh, Elementor, it will be if you only want to have this uh, styling uh, or this method to work on a particular page if you're gonna have the styling here and you're gonna uh, create another page or a post page uh, then the styling will not be affected meaning that you will sit with the same problem so the workaround with this to do it site-wide would be let's just quickly uh, delete that we just update it so now the styling is not working again um, so let's go and look how this page will look in the front end. So now you see the styling is not applied. Um, so from here we can simply go to custom customize or the customizer. From the customizer you can go down to additional CSS and simply add the code here and this will make the changes site wide. So if you create a new page then the um, you can will be able to do the styling on all the pages and it will not be isolated to a one page all right so that is basically as simple as that um, if you've got any questions place it in the comment section and i'll try to uh, answer you as quick as i can all right hope this saved you a lot of heartache speak to you soon